This is a quick tutorial on using race clocker to time folks for the time trials. So after you log in with the credentials, it's going to take you to a main screen. And this is where you'll go ahead and add the, the time trials. So one, one thing to do is go back to a prior time trial and copy the name. And then we'll set up a new race and we'll just paste that just to keep things consistent. So we're, uh, whatever the date is, we'll say today is the, the 26th. So date and time, you'll select date and time of the event. Um, you know, for this one, we'll say it's at 5 p.m. For sport, you're going to choose cycling time trial for the distance. The distance of the MLK Junior uh, short course is 5.4 miles. Uh, splitter laps, leave it on start and finish only. Start type is individual starts. Web address, uh, you can add the, the Strava link to the, the group after the fact. And then click save. And then here, the next screen, you are going to um, add the name members as people come. So what you could do is set up the race beforehand. So on the main screen, we have it set up. And then when people start to arrive, you click on upcoming races, click on participants, and then this is where people will check in. So the first person that comes, they're gonna be number one, John Doe, click add. Next person's number two, Jane Doe, click add and then so forth. So we'll just add a, a couple here for examples. And then once the, the folks are all checked in, you're gonna click on done. So this is everyone that's lined up for the day. So you have four people on this um, particular session. So the next thing you do is you're going to go to timing dashboard and then when it's time to start you're going to go to start click on start and then the important part here is from this screen you want to click on countdown and then we're gonna adjust the countdown to 30 seconds. And then when it's time to start, you're gonna have the first person lined up at the start and then you're gonna click on start and then it's gonna count down. So the first person right now is waiting at the start line and we're counting them down. And typically we'll give them a 15 second warning and then start counting down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then the person goes, you call up the next person and then the timer goes from there as well. So we'll let this go through. Again, you're going to give them the, the 10 second countdown. And then this person goes, and you go to the next person. This will be another 30 seconds.
And now we're at the, the last person. All right, so at this point, all the folks are done. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit back onto the browser or you wanna to get to the, the main timing dashboard screen. So I'm gonna hit back on this. So now we're back onto the main timing dashboard. And you're gonna click on finish. So now you have all four participants lined uh, up and then as they come through the finish, you're gonna click on the, the finish flag for them. So we'll say in this instance, Mark Smith comes in and then we're gonna wait a few seconds and then John comes in. A few more seconds, Jane comes in. So you tap on finish next to Jane. And then the last person, Phil, comes in um, in a few seconds here. So we'll sit, wait a few seconds and then click finish for fill. And that should be it. So, so from here, you're gonna hit back again. And then you'll have all of the times under the timing dashboard for that specific event. And then after the fact, you can upload the, the results. When you go to results here, click on results. You see that the, the results are there. And then to, to post it to the, the Facebook group, there's the public link right here. So you just copy this, copy link address, and then you post that into the, the group and that will show the the link to to these results for uh, this specific event so that's it uh the main thing is just learning to to navigate through the the different screens um we'll try to get a, a write-up on this as well